Hello, I'm David Roger, General Counsel for Las Vegas Police Protective Association. In this video, I want to talk to you about an exception to the search warrant requirement based upon special needs of, of officers. And, and in this uh, one, we're going to talk about freezing a residence uh, to protect uh, the destruction of evidence. And so uh, the U.S. Supreme Court in a couple cases, Segura versus U.S. 468 U.S. Uh, 796, a 1984 case, and Illinois versus MacArthur, a 531 U.S. 326, a 2001 case. Uh, and in those cases, the uh, U.S. Supreme Court uh, dealt with the issue about uh, whether an officer can go in and freeze a residence uh, to protect uh, the destruction of, of evidence. And uh, they held that uh, when balancing the interests of protecting e evidence and the minimal intrusion upon uh, uh, citizens, uh, it was appropriate to, to allow officers to freeze a residence. And so there are a couple of uh, elements that uh, you must meet first. First, uh, you must have probable cause to believe that there is evidence inside the, the residence. And so uh, that probable cause that has to exist before you freeze the residence. Uh, two, it has to be a temporary uh, freeze of the residence. Uh, and so uh, the time in which it takes to uh, obtain a search warrant uh, mu must be expedited so that uh, the citizens aren't unreasonably uh, restricted from entering their, their residence. And of course, anything that the officers see in plain view uh, when they go in to freeze the residence uh, must not be used in the application for the search warrant. And that is because it is a a temporary freeze of the residence and it is not a, a search and so you don't want to taint the search warrant uh, by uh, uh, addressing or articulating things that you, you saw when you went into the residence w without a search warrant and, and so again you need probable cause to believe that there's evidence in there and uh, the freeze or, or the uh, detention or seizure of, of the residence uh, must be temporary uh, and uh, not uh, unreasonably lengthy while you go and get the search warrant. Uh, thank you very much, and as always, contact me at droger at lvppa.com, and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get uh, timely uh, updates.